This room in Brazil's National Space Research Institute, INPE, is where satellites deployed to, among other things, measure deforestation in the Amazon jungle are monitored. The imagery is analyzed to produce reports for two different systems. The less precise DT initiative issues monthly reports, while the yearly PRODIS uses higher resolution data that is more reliable to establish long-term deforestation trends. Comparando o período agosto, setembro, outubro. If we compare the months of August, September, October of this year to the same months in 2020, the DETER system shows a reduction in the deforested area. But recently, we have released the yearly PRODIS data, which show deforestation has increased in the period comprised between August 2020 and July 2021. If compared to the previous period, from August 2019 to July 2020. Environmentalists say there is no doubt that destruction continues and that any reduction seen over the last few months signals a pause, at best, that's not the result of government action. If there is any reduction in deforestation figures, and we will only know for sure in the future, this would have mostly to do with the appetite of deforesters to invest more or invest less in clearing the forests at a given moment. This has nothing to do with government action because the administration is not where it should be in the Amazon, and when they are somewhere, they are promoting the wrong policies. The Amazon is the world's largest rainforest and it serves a key environmental function in balancing the planet's climate due to its capacity to absorb CO2, carbon dioxide. But there are major fears over its long-term survival and this road, the BR319, is, according to environmentalists, a major threat to the region. There is a government project to pave long stretches of this highway which is still made in large part of dirt roads which become often impassable during the rainy season. The idea is hailed by farmers, loggers, gold miners and cattle ranchers as an important step in developing this region while environmentalists see it as a major threat to the rainforest as it's likely to speed up deforestation along with the rise in economic activity. What Bolsonaro's administration and some representatives of the government promised when they went to the COP26, they said they, they, they signed the Glasgow uh, Leaders Declaration on Forest and Land Use, and also they said that Brazil will reduce emissions, and all of that we see as something that lack ambition and something that uh, the actions needed to reach those goals, they won't come from this government. The government of President Jair Bolsonaro, under pressure at home and abroad, say actions are being taken to protect the Amazon. But despite some small indications of recent improvement, the figures do not show any significant changes in the scale of destruction. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, Humaitá, in the Brazilian Amazon.